Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video that is slightly different from uh, what I have been doing here on my channel. This is going to be a short and informative tutorial on how to make easy book page envelopes in three ways. So I realized that not everyone has, you know, like an hour in a day to craft with me and that's totally fine. Sometimes we just want a short video, we want to get inspired, we want to learn something quickly and this is sort of what I'm trying to do here. This is like a back to basics thing, a fun tutorial of how to make this cute and very very simple uh, book page envelopes. So yeah, so I hope you will enjoy this and I will now switch you to the voiceover. Hey guys, so let's get right into it. This first book page envelope is so simple and quick and I often make it because I love it. I love how quick it is and I love how many different things you can do to customize it and to sort of bring it to next level. Um, so basically what you need for this one is just a book page and maybe some glue, you know, to close it up. So what I'm doing here is I am folding it into three parts. As you can see, this, um, this bottom part is larger and it's going to be the pocket of my envelope and the top part is smaller and this is going to be the flap and you can I'm not measuring it. You can totally just uh, decide how big a flap you want, how big of a pocket you want, and do do what uh, will look uh, right for you. So for this first one, I am going to tear the edges, and you can see that I first um, folded it, and then I'm. Um, tearing the edges and this is because I want them to kind of align with each other. If I tore the edges of um, of like a book page and then folded it then uh, the the edges would not be aligned very well and if it it's not something that bothers you then go ahead and do it. I just think this is kind of simpler and faster. So now I'm using my trusty vintage uh, vintage photo uh, distress oxide to ink up all the edges and uh, now I'm just using my glue to glue down the envelope and basically you could stop right there and you have a nice grungy looking envelope with those torn edges and it's ready to be used but I decided to add something to the flap just to make it a little bit interesting um, so um, I am I have this scrap of music paper lying just lying on my desk and um, I tore a piece inked it up uh, I make sure I ink up the inside of my flap as well and I just straight on glued it to the flap and that's the first envelope done it was so quick and simple you wouldn't believe so definitely worth trying so for this cutie I will use some lace to sort of align the uh, the pocket where the pocket starts. So I made sure when I was folding my envelope that I have a little bit of a gap between the pocket part of the envelope and the flap where it closes because I knew I might want to add something in there like this uh, pretty little uh, trim and also it's always good to leave a gap because then it makes it so much easier for you to to open your envelope and to put things into it. And now I have this beautiful uh, goat leaf, tr leaf trim. I got it off on AliExpress and I love it so much. It looks so beautiful. And I decided to use just a piece on the flap. Uh, I'm using my tacky glue to glue it down, but I am going to sew around it. And you should be able to see it in a sec on, um, on the close-up. But yeah, so I just sewn a line around it and I think 
I just love a pop of gold on everything basically so um, I just think it, it adds so much with so little effort and here is our second envelope done so look how simple and quick that was and we made two completely different envelopes <laughs> so these two are slightly different as you can see they are kind of expandable they have those wings sort of on the right and left hand side um, of the pocket and this makes them a little bit more spacious so you can put a bit more things inside of them and they are also very easy to make. Again I am using two book pages, we are going to be making two envelopes. I am um, cutting off the torn edge that um, I get when I tear it, when I tore these from the book. And here's what I'm doing, I'm folding the sides of the uh, book page about half an inch so I am going to have two half an inch uh, flaps sort of on both sides and then I'm doing exactly what we did in the previous episode so folding uh, this into like three parts so we have the pocket and we have the flap and we have our uh, flaps inside as well now i am going to be cutting and i hope you can see what i'm marking because what i'm marking here with my pencil is what we are going to be cutting so we are going to be cutting the flaps uh, or, or the folds of the envelope flap and of the envelope sort of pocket uh, side on the bottom. So yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of making sure I'm, I'm, I'm going slowly with this because you want it to be even. And I am also cutting just a little bit of the part that's going to stay. And you can see it's like a diagonal line. So uh, this will make my flaps that are going to be in the middle part of my envelope uh, fold more easily and they won't interfere with, with anything really. So we will be able to open our envelope comfortably. Now... Um, yeah and that's that's basically it you could definitely just go ahead and glue it down which is what i'm going to do here and i will show you how i quickly decorate this uh this envelope and for the second book page we will do uh something fun with it so uh yeah so for this one i just decided to use some sorry silk ribbon uh, just to sew it straight on the flap and you can see this is it and our envelope is done you could round the corners you could tear the flap you could do whatever you want with uh with this envelope it's just so simple and so quick and so effective so i'm doing the same thing with the second book page uh like i said i'm not measuring the only thing uh is that my book pages are rectangular so i am avoiding square shapes for the for this type of envelope and and for the the first one that we made as well and now I'm marking just to make it a bit easier for myself to not to cut out uh, a part that I actually need. So I'm marking the part that I'm going to be cutting and I'm doing the exact same thing, uh, cutting into uh, the middle part just a little bit so that it makes it easier to fold. Okay, and for this one, I actually decided to go with the torn look again. So I'm just looking not to tear through this bird because I like him very much. He looks beautifully when you open the envelope. But I'm tearing the, uh, the flap and also the pocket part of my envelope. And um, I'm going to be inking this up and we will add some lace inside the pocket this time so in a previous uh, envelope in the first sort of type of envelopes we added the lace trim on top of the pocket part and now we are adding it inside uh, for just some it some different look you know and I love how lace looks uh, with the with the torn edge and especially that it's very uneven uh, so so you can see you know some of the places you see a lot of the lace and some just just a little bit I think it looks 
great and um, again it's it's very simple to make so I'm just cutting off the excess of my uh, lace here just to make sure it doesn't stick out I always like to cut when I'm gluing my lace onto anything I always like to cut just a little bit more than I need because I believe it's always better to have a bit more than too little <laughs> because you can cut off the excess if you have too much but you can't really do much when you have too little and uh, you have to cut another piece so now I love the flap on the inside with the bird and the green but the outside uh, just looked too bare for me so I'm going to do the simplest collage or layer uh, of some things so I'm just using a scrap of pattern paper here and tearing it uh, to a um, like an elongated shape like you can see here just another piece of this music page that I have and uh, another scrap of a printable that I have just lying around on my desk inking up the edges of all of this of course and I'm just going to glue them straight down to my uh, to my flap and I'm not going to sew through it anything like that so as you can see all of these envelopes are super simple and you can go without using a sewing machine definitely you don't have to use a uh, punch board so so yeah so you can make them with anything really you have lying on your desk and it uh, I'm making them with book pages because this is what I love using book pages for but of course you can use pattern paper you can use printables you can use anything you have it does not have to be a book page uh, if you don't want to use book pages for this so here is our envelope all done and look how cute it looks with the lace uh, just picking out I really really like it so this was our second way to make envelopes and here is the third and this one is sort of the most I would say traditional envelope and you can make envelopes these so these shape very easily with a envelope punch board but today I'm going to show you a way how you can make them without a punch board and they may not be perfect because again not measuring anything so they may they may not be perfect they may not may not be completely even but I never I never uh, it's never bothers me it, it never bothers me you know especially uh, in junk journals I like the handmade look of things so what I'm doing here this time I'm cutting my envelopes I'm cutting my book pages sorry into square shapes so and, and now I'm using this project life card and you can use any rectangle uh, shape that you have and this is four by six project life card and I am just as you can see I think you can see it better than I can explain it in English so just look at what I'm doing I, I am using it as my template of something that I am going to be able to put inside you know so because I folded um, use I folded my flaps uh, using this um, this card I am going to be able to put something this size inside of there and I'm just folding this one uh, edge here because I don't like this sort of corner sticking out uh, and here's my flap and you could leave it like that but we are going to be cutting off those sort of fold lines that you have uh, so when you open up your square uh, you will see that there are some parts hope you can see it here but there are some parts that are kind of folded you know that are um, that don't need to be there <laughs> maybe let me let me put it this way so I'm cutting them off and uh, I'm just cutting them straight you could try to uh, make them a little bit um, rounded if you like it's definitely what I sometimes do too because I like the look but here I'm showing you the sort of the simplest and the fastest way to make these envelopes and you can 
then take this tutorial, take these methods and make whatever pleases you with your envelopes. So it's as simple as that, guys. This one is almost done. And now I thought, why don't we add something uh, to kind of make it more interesting on the inside? <laughs> we, usually, uh, we usually decorate the outside of our envelopes, but why don't we add some lining on the inside? So I am gluing down a piece of vintage wallpaper printable from TaylorMade Journals uh, and uh, I'm gluing it to the flap and to the middle of the envelope. I'm not I'm not uh, going to glue it to the to the side flaps, to the bottom flap. I don't need it because they are not going to be visible. But I'm going to just cut around this shape and you will see how easily you can make like sort of uh, something really beautiful and maybe not obvious because you have this plain index page envelope and then you open it up and it has this beautiful vintage pattern inside. So I, I really like this effect. Okay, so now I am making sure I can uh, fold my flaps and I am going to be inking up the inside. I'm going to left the outside uninked, <laughs> uh, but I wanted to, to ink the, the inside because the paper, the, the, the background paper is, is sort of whitish. So uh, I always like inking you guys know me <laughs> I can't seem to be able to stop inking uh, yeah so now I'm using my bone folder to just make sure it folds properly and uh, just gluing it closed and we are going to add just one more quick thing to decorate the outside flap here and I have some scraps of laces um, and I am going to staple them straight on my page. I have this these cool staples um, that look kind of like old gold or something like that. Got them off on AliExpress and I really like using them because you don't get this regular metal, metal color um, and, and it just looks pretty. I like using staples in my projects. Um, and so I'm now going to make this tiny one. And as you can see, I'm using the same huge project life card. So it's huge in comparison to, to the template of my envelope, but it still works. So really guys any rectangular shape that you have um, you can make it work with that and this envelope I don't think it's quite as even as the other one but I don't mind it it's so cute I love it and like I said to you I don't mind about things not being perfect not being even in my junk journals because I think that imperfection just adds just adds some charm to the handmade projects you know perfect things come from uh from from factories perfect things uh are in the shop they are all the same and here you can make uh you can make the same envelope 10 times and you will have 10 different envelopes uh, that's that's a beauty uh, of handmade things so for this one I rounded the flap the edge of the flap and I'm inking it up slightly and we are going to be adding just a, some some scraps some more scraps to the flap as well using a stapler and so I'm just gluing the envelope closed we don't need it open for this and yeah, and I have this beautiful gold trim um, that I got in a like a scrap pack on Etsy. Um, this is so, uh, from from vintage Surrey's, so it's it's so gorgeous. And I just cut a little piece of this, a little piece of lace, and I'm stapling it again straight on my flap here. And look how cute it looks. I really like it. You could put just a little note in there or a little tag anything so here are our envelopes done guys i hope you enjoyed this i hope you found some inspiration i hope it was informative and easy to follow and thank you so much for watching thank you for your time and for your support and i will see you very soon in my next video 
बाय